All right, so for this video, I just had one of the subscribers asking me a question about the press. So I'm just gonna talk about it. I know I've been using the press in the channel for a while, but I haven't really done an update or anything on it. So I've had it probably for about eight or nine months, I think, something like that. I have had no issues, anything like that. Everything still works just fine. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, just a quick talk about how to adjust pressures on this guy. And then there is an included gauge that comes with it for the pressures. I'll show you real quick. It's at about 500, a little under, under 500. So that gauge is not supposed to be used for an actual uh, increment press or anything like that. You wanna use this gauge here. But pretty much, the lines come with the kit, so you buy the press, it comes with these lines, they're pre-filled. Don't forget about that because if you fill that motor there, or the reservoir, all the way up to the top, it's going to leak out like it did for mine. I'm running a marine battery deep cycle, so I just keep a tender on there, so that way it keeps running. You know, the battery doesn't die when it gets cold. Um, there's the pump right there. It's pretty loud, but it works out pretty good. And then here is the regulator that you use for the pressure adjustment. So it's just this manifold looking thing. There's a bolt that goes into it and this comes off. So it's just a manifold that, you know, directs the, the flow of the uh, hydraulic fluid. So, okay, so I'm going to be increasing the pressure as I record so that way, or as I'm turning it up, so that way you can see pretty much how high it's going to go. video it was already at 42 4300 and it was still going but I started to hear the the hose making a sound kind of like a gurgling noise and I think that is telling me that the fluid is starting to run out of the reservoir back there the structure of the frame is pretty simple it is just a block of aluminum get a couple of bolts some um, one inch aluminum rods and then you just get the base plate and you create the legs and all that for it and then you pretty much just fix this cylinder up top to it um, and then you just put it together like that so it's a pretty easy design but it's a very effective one and it works really well whenever i press something it doesn't move around i don't have any issues with you know things popping out or anything like that it just presses real nicely and then the manifold for the adjustment is very easy i mean it's a little tough when it's not being pressed but you can just spin it and it's got a nice little thumb wheel so you can just pretty much uh, use that real quick i wanted to show this little guy here i'm going to be making a video on this and i'll explain what it is and why it looks like that so yep yeah, stay tuned for that one and i appreciate you all for watching thank you